Okay, so here we are here with this uh, 335. It's one of my first Euros we're doing here. So this is a 335, it's a 2010. You guys have been following a little MPAC car with an N54. It's completely stock. There's nothing done to this. No air intakes, no downpipes, none of that, anything. No intercoolers, nothing, okay? You guys know me, I've been tuning Ford, GM, Dodge, a lot of Nissan, Infiniti for a long time. Um, tuning is tuning. Tuning is, uh, if you're tuning a vehicle, doesn't really matter what it is. I mean, if you know how to tune something, you can tune almost anything on the market. Now, I didn't do Euro for a long time. It wasn't the market that I was interested in. I was way too busy with Fords and everything else. Yes, the car is filthy. It needs to go and get washed. So it's a six speed. And like I was saying, is like, I, I'm just too busy to touch Euro. So now it's, you know, I've been having a lot of time off here with COVID and everything. So I decided to start touching these. And uh, this is actually one of my cars here. I bought that at the auction. It's got 190K on it. It's got an N54, the three liter. And this is what we put down. A few weeks ago, we uh, we did a stock tune, a stock uh, dyno pull. And if you could see it here in green, this is the stock uh, pull. You can see that here, it says base pull stock. The name here is Pants, is my, is my son, Pantelis. So this is a stock pull here in green. So everything that's in green goes together. What we just did now, well, I just put a little tune in this, uh, and everything in red goes together. Now, if you look at this as I move the cursor, you can see your horsepower, your torque on this um, and get an idea of where it's at. And it, they're really decent numbers from what it was to what it, uh, it is now. It's kind of night and day. Now, the blue trace, this blue trace is, uh, is a customer's car. They just put it on the dyno just for fun. And if you see the mods, he's got, uh, um, this is the sixth map or the sixth tune in his JB4 car was making 20 pounds on his jb4 and he's got an mhd back end flash along with it uh down pipes cold air intakes upgraded intercooler all all the goodies okay i don't know what brands i don't know any of that but this is what what the car did now if you look at this this is completely stock okay so we went from a stock tune making a max of 287 foot pounds to 336 foot pounds and we went from seven pounds to about 14 pounds now this is the first time I tune one of these, so the timing isn't isn't crazy. I mean, it's it's really castrated as far as timing is concerned. And you guys know that timing is what makes power. Boost is there, but boost is just a measure of pressure, right? It doesn't mean that it's gonna you know make power unless it's got the timing. And now, if you see your air fuel ratio here, if you see it here, this is actually boost right now. You can see it, but I can show you AFR. And this car right now, as it is, I've got it way too rich. So I need to pull fuel out of this to make a little more power. So as you can see here, you want to be in this area here, the 11.6. And this thing up top, after 40, 4,500, it's a 10.6, 10.4, that's way too rich, okay? So it's it's basically washing itself out here. So we want to keep this in the neighborhood of 11.7, 11.8, all across, across here. And you see these red traces here, you'll see this, this torque is dipping all kinds here, even though the boost curve right here is still around, you know, where it should be. It's peaking right around here. So it's peaking, but our max torque's back here because there's there's more timing in here and the car's leaner. So what we want is to make this horsepower and this torque kind of smooth out here, okay? As you see here, a customer's car, the blue car, see his torque kind of stays up here. He's got a little dip here for some odd reason. I think it's got intake air temps that are a little bit too high and it's pulling some timing here. Here, we aren't pulling any timing. So this is beautiful right here. I know I'm not touching this up to four grand, but right around here, is where it needs some work. The two needs some work as it's too rich. Boost peaks here. So I want this here. So these are the numbers that it made. And I gotta say for a complete stock car from the auction with 190,000 kilometers, these things are cool. I mean, that's a really cool, these are cool numbers for what it is. The biggest thing is the 337 here and the 346 here. That's not a big difference in torque, okay? Never mind the horsepower difference. There's a good difference in horsepower. But look at these two torque numbers. This is stock on this vehicle on the dyno right now. This is what we just did, and it's rich. Okay, imagine what it's going to do if I actually pull fuel out of it, give it a couple of degrees of timing. It's going to get to this 345 pretty easy. That difference right here between this and this, that's like nothing. I can make that with a couple of degrees of timing in the tune. So, I mean, what can I say, man? Hope you guys welcome me to Euro tuning because I'm, I'm going to start messing with these quite a bit. Now, as far as these pop and bang tunes and the rest, yeah, sure, why not? I guess if you guys want them, we'll put them on there. But we want to make power. We want to tune things right. 
And the trick here now is to actually keep this as a development car, do some downpipes on it, because I know the downpipes on these really make power. I'm not crazy about the cold air, I'm not gonna touch it. We'll look at it, intake air temps and see if it needs an intercooler. And the intercooler, honestly, these things soak up with oil, so I wanna change it either way. Charge pipe, intercooler, we'll get a bunch of that stuff. We opened an account with VRSF, uh, VRSF recently. Very cool kid, Joshua, talked to him. And uh, he seems willing to work with us, so we'll be, uh, we'll be uh, buying some parts from them. And uh, we'll mess with this a bit more and see what we can, uh, we can do, make some extra power with it. So I had a blast with this. My son is 13, he's in love with this car. He won't let me sell it. Unless you guys have a good, uh, a good price for me. Maybe we can get him, get him to sell it to you. So um, guys, thanks for watching the video. And uh, hopefully you guys are interested in bringing me a car to do some custom Euro tuning. This isn't a flash. This isn't an off the shelf MHD flash. It's not a BM3, which they don't do either way. This is an actual custom tune. This is a custom tune done, um, you know, from scratch for these vehicles. So if you end up with a bigger turbo, bigger injectors, that's the goal here. I don't want to just, you know, throw flashes in cars. When you get a bigger turbo and you get, you know, bigger, a bigger uh, high pressure fuel pump or any other mods that you do, I want to be the guy to touch the car. So I'm testing my own vehicle and making sure, you know, if it busts, if it breaks, it's on me, it's on my car. I'm not looking to learn on your car. So that's how I did it when I first started. And that's how I'm going to do it with these Euro cars. So uh, I'm going to do that. Kids are over there. There's the kiddo. What'd you think, kid? Good. We got a tune for that little 1.8T Volkswagen now too, eh? Huh? We're going to put on the dyno though. We're going to do it right. We're going to put on the dyno. We're going to make sure we have all the right temps and all the right AFRs. And we're going to get Marco's little 2003 uh, Jetta 1.8 turbo uh, making some power too. That thing's pretty much stock too, besides the cold air and maybe a, a bypass valve. It's, it doesn't got much, but uh, long video. I'm going long, full seven minutes. Thanks for watching, guys.